currently on my way to go pick up my custom in-ear monitors from JH Audio. I went to New York City a few weeks ago and demoed their product lineup. I got custom molds my ears made and spec them out. And we sent out the impressions and they just arrived. So super excited to go get them. I figured I'd uh, share my experiences and my thoughts about custom in-ear monitors with everyone. So let's start off with what a custom in-ear monitor is, right? So an in-ear monitor is a set of earbuds designed for musicians and audiophiles who want crystal clear sound in their ears, right? With a perfect fit, you know, so that you can move around, do whatever you have to do, move your mouth, nah, 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 jump up and down on stage and do whatever you need to do and it'll always stay put in your ear. Those are those funny things that you see musicians have, you know, in their ears. You know, sometimes they have one in and one out, or sometimes they have these two clear plastic looking things in their ears. Those are in-ear monitors. They are earbuds that have multiple mini speakers in them, we call them drivers. And each of these drivers is responsible for a different frequency range so that you can have crystal clear audio being sent to your ears. And it's a great product, it's a great investment. And today we're gonna to kind of talk about the pros and cons of them. So let's go over the exact model that I got. So I went with the 16 V2s. So what these are, are their 16 model and they have 10 drivers per side. So that's 10 little speakers in each earpiece. You have four to control the low end, two mid-range drivers, and four for the top end. And this allows a crystal clear sonic experience while listening to music and live playback and recordings on these devices. Off the side, bam, custom in-ear monitors. My name on the case and everything. Pull this up. And we have sticker through their logo. You have the important screwdriver, which allows you to dial in more bass. Owner's manual, pamphlet, thank you. Cleaning tool to clean the crap out of your ears. So taking a look at these for the first time, open it up. And there they are, my custom earpieces. I ended up going with the JH16B2 model. This model features 10 custom-made proprietary balanced armature drivers per side. So that means that I have four low-end, two mid-range, and four high-end speakers in each of the earpieces. I went with the 7-pin Litz wire connector, which allows me to easily swap and remove the cable if needed. There is a 15 dB variable bass attenuator to go from totally flat response to bass boosted in case you need it or to enhance your listening experience. The frequency range of these in-ear monitors is 10 Hertz to 23 kilohertz with an impedance of 18 ohms and 26 decibels of noise isolation. So let's go over real quick the right way to put these in. So you have the cable draped behind you, right? Cause it's gonna be connected to your in-ear monitor pack or your device or whatever and you have the indicator blue for your left ear and red for your right ear. And what you're gonna do is the part that's custom fit to go in, you're gonna put that in on an angle, lock it in, and the cable comes back behind your ear and you should feel it fit. Same thing with the other ear and that just kind of locks in, goes back. You'll feel them completely block your ear canal. It'll feel like you can't hear anything. That's what you want, maximum isolation, and no outside noise coming in. So real quick, let's talk about who I think these are designed for, right? Who should be ordering custom ear monitors? I believe that three categories of people fall into this. The professional live musician who's consistently gigging and wants to have a consistent sound night after night and not lose their hearing. People who do recording, tracking, mixing, mastering, etc. These are amazing for tracking because of how much sound they block out and they're great for referencing because they're super flat and crystal clear. I also think that people who want a really good pair of headphones and who listen to music a lot, your commuters, people who go to the gym a lot, right? People who listen to music and want to block out other sound and have super high attention paid to the detail and the quality of the music that they're listening to. Now, this isn't for everyone, it's a very, heavy investment to consider, right? Custom meter monitors tend to typically range somewhere between the 500 to two and a half thousand dollar range. 
these fall somewhere in the middle. I believe the 16 V2s as of this time of me shooting the video are somewhere around 14, 1500 bucks. But considering a lot of you drop that much on a new amplifier, a set of plugins, or a new guitar every couple weeks, you can definitely invest in your hearing, which is something that you cannot get back once you lose it. So I definitely think that these are a great investment for anyone who falls into that category. So why did I go with JH Audio? Well, I did my research and looked around at a couple of different companies and got a lot of feelers from my friends who are professional gigging touring musicians. And I ended up going with JH Audio mostly because Jerry Harvey, the creator of the company, basically invented what we know as the modern in-ear monitor. He was touring with Van Halen in the 90s, and when Alex Van Halen was tired of having a wedge monitor being blasted in his face every night, he asked Jerry to come up with an in-ear solution so that he wouldn't be permanently losing his hearing any further than it had already been damaged from the years and years that he was on tour with Van Halen. So Jerry Harvey designed what we now know today as the custom in-ear monitor. Right, so not only does that story give the company such a rich history already, but also, I mean, Dream Theater uses them, and you guys know I'm a massive Dream Theater fan, so that was a no-brainer there. So yeah, I went to New York, I went to Smash Studios, where JH Audio has an office set up. Spoke to the artist relations manager, AJ. Shout out to AJ, thank you so much for all of your help, man. And I got to demo their different items, right? All the different models that they offer. I listen to music on them, songs that I'm very familiar with. I listen to backing tracks with my band. I listen to live recordings. And just to get a feel of how everything would actually sound with these earpieces, because you want to know what you're going to be getting into because it's very different from just a regular pair of earbuds, right? Which are usually very hyped in the lows and the highs and usually have the mid scooped out. So you want to get a sense for what you're actually going to be hearing. And then after that, they took impressions of my ears by shooting this weird pink goop in my ear. It hardened and then when you pull them out, they look like, you know, imprints and impressions. That just about wraps up today's video. What do you guys think? I think these ears came out fantastic. They sound great. They look great. They're really stable. They fit my ears perfectly. I cannot wait to use them on the road starting this week. I mean, as of the time of this video, it is currently mid-February and I have four or five shows lined up within the next two or three weeks. So I'm super excited to start using them. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Hit that subscribe button. You guys know the drill by now. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on practicing, keep on rocking, stay safe.